Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So for those who are curious and have asked how our night routine goes, we will be showing you guys right now. Um, today was infusion day, so we just about an hour ago got back from the infusion center when Abel gets his arthritis medication. And let me tell you, days like these are very exhausting. Like it's 7 p.m. and we just had dinner. Like we literally haven't eaten the whole day. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna bring you along our night routine and um, let you guys know what we do. Forgot to mention, ever since we came home from the hospital, uh, there's been more things added to Abel's care in the night. Like before our nights were like pretty chill, like we were able to sleep good. So now we do breathing treatments around the clock every six hours. So we're up at 2 a.m. and at 4 a.m. At 2 a.m. for his breathing treatment, 4 a.m. for his feed. We try to combine that, but it doesn't really work out. So we're team no sleep. So it's about seven. And this is the time we start our night routine because it's very, very long. So I think we're gonna start off with the bath. Not for us, for Abel. <laughs> so as Britsy was saying, we just got home from Atlanta in the infusion center and we went to go get his labs, his ferritin, magnesium, CBC and all the, um, all his blood. Uh, what's it called? All his what? <laughs> blood work. Blood work. So his main one, his main concern is his ferritin. So I'm just looking at it right now and it is not the greatest but it's not his worst. Right. Um, we still haven't been able to get to the norm. We're working our way on that. They just increased his Actamra medication. So the aftermath with Abel is that since he just got steroids, he's like really angry. Um, and he's just done with the whole day. Just like we're exhausted. Yeah. He's very exhausted. And yeah so right now Britsy's gonna bathe Abel and I'm gonna wash the dishes because that's kind of our routine I get the dishes she gets Abel um, try to alternate but Abel with me and bathing I end up jumping in the water with him I don't know why <laughs> sometimes we just sit here and contemplate <laughs> or figuring how I'm gonna get up <laughs> it's just so exhausting like, I have a massive headache right now. You need stress pills. Yes, let or me show y'all. not stress pills, but stress gummies. Let us show y'all the stress gummies we take. This is part of mom and dad's. As you um, can tell, she got up really quick for that. But uh, here we are. It's your mama's vitamins. That she doesn't take. I've been better. Stress. <laughs> when we are stressed, literally, every day. JK, sleep. When we can't sleep. But we can't ever take these because Abel needs us in the night, so... Yep, struggle. Only in the hospital. So these are really, really bomb. Like, they... Highly recommended, not sponsored. Yes, not sponsored, but Ollie, if you want to sponsor us. We always take these because, like, I'm at the point where, like, my head is going to explode out of stress. Here you go, Dad. And they have an amazing flavor. Like, I just want to eat all of these. Yeah, let's not do that. But, what the heck? But in about, like, 30 minutes... We will feel a change. Abel just had one of his coughing spells, coughing episodes. And also this is him like kind of throwing a tantrum. Um, I think he's just done for the day, like truly done. But he's fine people, I promise. So I just try to relax him in his bath, wash away all these germs that he might have encountered during the day. Another thing I use to relax Abel is this, what is it called? Essential oils. So I put a few drops of this in his bath and he, I feel like it relaxes him. I think it relaxes his muscles. You can also put this like massage it or put it in like a diffuser. I usually put it in a diffuser too, but it like knocks me out instead of able, so it doesn't work out. Hi, Abel. 
todo. No, mi niño. I know you're ready. Let's go. You see him putting his eyes. I'm quickly putting on his pull socks again so we could read his numbers. And then we're gonna hit him with his treatments. Abel's breathing a little harder than usual, but I feel like that's his normal when he's upset. Mostly upset overall. Secondly, tired. Third, he has a lot of boogies and junk that's just been sitting there all day. This is Abel's nebulizer. It's a little puppy. Isn't it cute? Now we're just gonna hook up the piece that goes to him and we're going to um, I'll show you guys his medicine that goes in there. So this is his hypertonic saline. This helps with loosening, loosening mucus and secretions to help them, to help Abel get them out through his nose, like to loosen them up so they're not so firm. So we put in about two mLs, like, like so. Very little, mostly albuterol. Albuterol helps by opening up his airways. So this goes on about 10 to 15 minutes, depending how fast all this medicine um, goes away. And we do this every night, every day, every six hours for until he gets better. I think he's almost there to where we could do it every eight hours but I still think he needs at least one more week of doing it six hours. And we see pulmonology next month in February. Honestly, we might just do it until then. But Abel is not a fan of this mask. Like, if I wrap this around his face in the mask, and if I put it like directly on his face, he freaks. All right, so now it's my turn. We're gonna do the flow nays, which no, is... Flow nays, <laughs> and then we're gonna do the flow vent. So many flows. Wait, let's do the flow vent first, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna do the flow vent first, which is basically a steroids for his lungs. Um, we just hold it for about 12 breaths. You'll see him breathe right here. You'll, yeah. you'll count his breaths. He hates this, but it's for his good. 12, good job. Good job. Okay, so we're gonna spray this on each nostril. Goes one, and then there's goes two. I like to do that after, but. Grease anatomy in the back. <laughs> you're supposed to do this after you do the um, the nebulizer, yeah. just because there is no. Um, I forgot how the doctor explained it, but basically, it it just works a lot better. So we're gonna go ahead and start his vest to get his last um, shaky, 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 okay? We kind of alternate, me and Britsy. I like to be the res respiratory therapist mm. and Britsy's the doctor and the nurse. But um, mm. <laughs> yeah, so I just like doing his treatment, or well, especially his vest. Um, yeah. But yeah, so you just basically put normal, um, first on and then normal. And then you, we used to have it at like 12 Hertz. He hated it. Yeah, that was way too it's strong. It's just way too strong and eight hertz seemed to be his happy place. Yeah. And we just press on, confirm everything's plugged up, and then we just go ahead and start it. And this lasts about 10 minutes, um, and we kind of just wait. Sometimes I like to take a nap <laughs> because we don't usually get those a lot. So I try to take a 10 minute nap while he gets his vest. Um, or we do meds. Oh, we do. Oh, his meds. Yeah. Let's go do his meds okay. while he gets his vest. I probably look so tired. Excuse the bags. Excuse the bags. <laughs> Excuse the bags. Tonight, it's not super crazy. Um, we usually just do like three meds, four meds. We do his cyclosporin. So this one basically suppresses his immune system since it's, he has MAS and it's always triggered. That's another story. <laughs> it's a, such a long story, but cyclosporin, we just now got started on his magnesium and thank God today his magnesium was actually low. 
or not low normal. it was normal yeah um it hasn't been normal in like two weeks but um yeah so now we got started on his magnesium so it's a new um yeah prescription we'll go ahead and start on the magnesium so first and foremost well, let me check if abel's still good he's good <laughs> um you want to get hot water yeah so let me wait till it gets warm you so cannot kill any time so we're gonna wait on that in the meantime so you're gonna put it in a bigger syringe dump it in there you basically just go all the way up and you let it just kind of it takes a village to raise a child mm. but it takes a nation to raise a special needs child wow. it takes some warriors wow. to raise some special need children I like it that. takes overcomers mm -hmm. to raise special need children it's a lot of weight um, we don't get it right all the time so any parent out there that beats themselves up that they're not great parents and that they're not the best for their child i promise you you're doing a great job trust me i beat myself all the time i feel like i could be better it's just so much information that my mind just like but anyways Naproxen. We don't do naproxen. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we're not doing naproxen today since he just got his um, infusion. So that should help. This is a pain medication for his joints and arthritis. So we're not using this, thank God. And that's why I mean you need a village because <laughs> if I'm making the wrong decision, I got Britsy correcting me. What's the next one? Diarel. So we're going to do Diarel. And this one is to remove any fluid from his lungs we're gonna do two mls so we don't always do melatonin nights like this where we just get out of the infusion we definitely have to due to the steroids the amount of steroids that he um got in his system today it kind of keeps it or he struggles sleeping through the night so we try to give him something to kind of cool or calm him down and get a better sleep for life uh, it's called transfer factor it's basically an immune system supplement it basically balances your immune system it helps fight all that bacteria and viruses and everything that um, we're very skeptical about it at first it's not cheap it's very expensive so if anybody wants to help us buy these feel free to cash out some some funds because these get really expensive but yes. i know this is like a business everything has everything's a business medicine's a business but um i just didn't believe in it i'm just gonna be honest but when you get to a desperate place where you just desire your son's health to be at a better place um you kind of have to bite the bullet and make a decision that might not make sense at the moment but i will be very honest with you um Transfer Factor has been a huge help for Abel. We've seen it. I mean, we, we've, seen, we've seen it on paper. Um, we noticed the change. So we will continue to give it to him as long as his body, you know, as soon as we find a balance. I had his G2 Benzene. Benzene's just taking out all the gas and air he had. Gas and air, that's the same thing. Well, kinda. Kinda, right? It's just to relieve him from stomach gas. Since he can't really burp or... I mean, he, he farts, so... So the form vacation. Yeah, so he has... He's had that operation where they kind of tie his stomach, his own stomach around his esophagus so he can't relieve gas up here. So we do it through this tube. We were going to put him in his standard but honestly i think he's way too tired so we're just gonna let let it ride out and let him knock out he usually falls asleep on this chair or on his little um play mat so we'll let him fall asleep there and then we'll carry him to bed and then he'll sleep through the night hopefully abel gets fed every four hours so he gets six feeds a day so midnight 4 a.m 8 a.m 12 p.m., 4 p.m., 8 p.m., midnight again. His feeds need to be on point. Like, we need to be precise 
on them. Like, we cannot skip a feed because um, these past few months, I would say maybe a year almost, he, he's been um, at a very low weight. I wouldn't say extremely low, but he's very tiny for his size weight. And his GI doctor um, showed us his growth chart and it keeps going down. And they were very concerned about it. But I think he's grown since last time, so I'm excited to see what they say. And, and now that Abel's finally asleep, we find some time to ourselves and make it a Friday night movie night. Every time we pick him up quick, quickly or gently or just every time we pick him up, he does this. Just have a little coughing episode. This happens just because he stays in a position for a long time without movement. Probably turn him up on the oxygen, right? Yeah, just a little. Abel is having a coughing spell, um, so I'm going to have to turn him up to like two and a half liters of oxygen. Just to help him get past that um, coughing spell, but don't freak out. We deal with this every night, um, so pray for us. I know, you're okay, you're okay. So now we have to suction him. While we get him settled and he's still coughing. We're gonna go ahead and start on his feeds. We'll go ahead and cont keep settings. He's gonna be at 95 mLs for over an hour. I don't sleep in my bed anymore. Uh, Abel took over. For now, he can't, we don't wanna leave him in his crib because he's full time and things like this happen and he needs to be right next to mom. So I sleep on the couch because yeah we fit on this bed but I'm a pretty bad sleeper and so is Abel just call me if anything Sorry, Jesus name so welcome to my bed this has been my bed for about a month or two it is 12 30 something I can't remember but um, we gotta wake up at we're gonna do four o'clock we're gonna do his uh, treatments and his feeding his treatments are at two, but that's in two hours. We're just gonna let him get at least a good four hours of sleep and ourselves, and we'll just knock everything down at 4 a.m. So, good night. It's time to get some rest. everybody I hope y'all enjoyed this video um, we were supposed to post the nighttime but we realized that the audio wasn't working um, so 
technical difficulties on that, but basically it's the same routine that we did um, earlier as you guys seen. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I just want to leave with a quick encouragement that, um, you know, we just woke up and what we did at 4 a.m. We got to do it again right now, 8 a.m. and then again at 2 p.m. We do this every day, every single time and sometimes we feel like we don't see any results or that God is not watching but God is right there and the season will come to pass I don't know what you're going through today I don't know if you feel stuck you walked into 2020 feeling the same way that you felt in 2019 but your season will come and just to shift your perspective a little bit I used to say because I mean if I could be honest some days me and Britsy dread doing this um, because we're just so tired or our body just aches our mind and so we used to say we have to do this now we we say we get to do this it's a blessing that we woke up again and that we get to do this with Abel and God is while we're praying for Abel to develop God is developing us in all areas of our lives and so just keep trusting God and and his perfect timing everything will come to pass even if you even if I don't understand what his perfect timing means sometimes hope you guys once again enjoyed and have a blessed day and just take care guys we got this Self-care while child care.